the Lizard Man of South Carolina, unraveling the mystery of a Southern cryptid. In the darkest recesses of the swamps of South Carolina, amidst the gnarled cypress trees and shrouds of Spanish moss, whispers abound of a sinister being that lies in wait, the Lizard Man, an ominous towering figure clad in scales of green, boasts a pair of menacing blood-red eyes that pierce through the gloom. This enigmatic creature has haunted the minds of locals and cryptozoology aficionados alike, its chilling legend echoing through the ages. The very existence of this cryptid is shrouded in skepticism and conjecture, yet the indelible mark it's etched upon the folklore of South Carolina stands as a testament to the dread that has long gripped the hearts of those who venture too close to the murky depths of the swamp. The legend of the Lizard Man of South Carolina can be traced back to a single chilling encounter on a dark summer night in 1988. Christopher Davis, a 17-year-old from Lee County, is said to have found himself face to face with a terrifying unknown creature near the Skateboar Swamp. His account of that night set off a wave of hysteria and captured the imagination of residents, sparking a long-lasting fascination with the mysterious cryptid. On the night of June 29, 1988, Davis was driving home from his job at a fast food restaurant. It was around 2 a.m. and the road was desolate. As he neared the skateboard swamp, his car suffered a flat tire, forcing him to pull over and make repairs. With only the dim light from his car's headlights to guide him, Davis set to work on changing the tire. As he struggled with the task, he noticed something moving in the darkness nearby. A sense of unease began to wash over him, and he quickened his pace, desperate to get back on the road and away from the eerie atmosphere. Suddenly, a large bipedal creature emerged from the shadows. Standing approximately seven feet tall, it had green, scaly skin and glowing red eyes that seemed to pierce the darkness. The creature approached Davis, its intentions unclear, but its presence was unmistakably menacing. Panicked, David hurriedly finished changing the tire, jumped into his car, and sped away from the scene. The creature, however, was not easily deterred. It gave chase, running after Davis's car and even managing to grab hold of it at one point. The monstrous entity swiftly clambered atop his vehicle. In a desperate bid to dislodge the creature, he slammed on the brakes, sending it tumbling off the car. This gave Davis enough time to escape. Davis later reported that the creature's long claws had scratched the vehicle's paint as it tried to maintain its grip. Shaken by his encounter, Davis shared his story with friends, family, and eventually local law enforcement. His accounts of the Lizard Man spread quickly, capturing the attention of both believers and skeptics alike. Soon, other sightings of the mysterious creature began to emerge, fueling the legend of the Lizard Man of South Carolina. Following the chilling encounter of Christopher Davis, a wave of sightings swept through South Carolina, captivating the imagination of residents and cryptozoology enthusiasts alike. The encounters of the Lizard Man varied in detail, but together they created a vivid picture of a mysterious creature that seemed to lurk in the shadows of the Skateboard Swamp and beyond. In the weeks after Davis's encounter, other people came forward with their own sightings of the Lizard Man. Like I said, much taller than you, I, I would guess eight, eight to a half, nine feet tall. Well, I had uh, a little fence up that's part of the swamp. Most of these encounters occurred in the rural areas surrounding the Skateboard Swamp, where Davis initially reported seeing the creature. However, reports also emerged from neighboring counties, including Sumter and Kershaw, suggesting that the Lizard Man's territory might extend beyond the swamp. Eyewitness accounts of the Lizard Man varied in detail, but generally described a creature similar to Davis's initial report. Witnesses claimed to see a tall, bipedal reptilian humanoid with green, scaly skin and glowing red eyes. Some witnesses reported that the Lizard Man had a long tail and sharp claws, while others stated that it emitted a terrible, guttural growl. Despite the variations in the descriptions, a consistent image of a fearsome and enigmatic creature began to take shape. 
In the summer and fall of 1988, local law enforcement in South Carolina investigated several instances of car damage that some believed to be the work of the Lizard Man. These cars were found with deep scratches, dents, and even bite marks, suggesting that a large, powerful creature had attacked them. The damaged vehicles were often discovered near the Skabor Swamp, the epicenter of the Lizard Man sightings. Despite these incidents, no definitive evidence linking the Lizard Man to the car damage was ever found. Some skeptics pointed to the possibility of vandalism, suggesting that pranksters were capitalizing on the Lizard Man hysteria to create a sense of panic in the community. Others argued that the damage could have been caused by indigenous wildlife, such as bears or large alligators. The wave of Lizard Man sightings and the subsequent search for evidence caught the attention of local, national, and even international media. Newspapers, television shows, and radio programs covered the story, interviewing witnesses, experts, and local authorities. The media coverage fueled the legend of the Lizard Man, making it a topic of conversation in households across the country and embedding it in the folklore of South Carolina. Over the years, numerous people have claimed to have found large, three-toed footprints in the areas surrounding the Skabor Swamp, purportedly left by the Lizard Man as it traversed its territory. However, the authenticity of these footprints has been called into question. In some cases, teenagers confess to creating fake Lizard Man footprints to stoke the fires of local hysteria. In other instances, experts suggested that the prints could be the result of natural processes or misidentified animal tracks. Several alleged photographs and videos of the Lizard Man have emerged with varying degrees of credibility. These images often depict a tall, bipedal creature with reptilian features, lurking in the shadows or striding through the swampy terrain. While some of these images have garnered attention and debate, none have provided definitive proof of the Lizard Man's existence. Critics argue that the images are hoaxes or misidentifications, and the quality of the photographs and videos is often too low to draw conclusive judgments. The search for evidence of the Lizard Man has also involved input from experts in various fields. Biologists, zoologists, and herpetologists have weighed in on the phenomenon, assessing the likelihood of a previously undiscovered reptilian humanoid existing in the South Carolina swamps. Most experts assert that no known reptile species would match the description or behavior of the lizard man, further complicating the search for evidence. However, recent intriguing insights have emerged in a Reddit thread discussing the identity of lizard man. An astute reader noticed a striking resemblance between the cryptid's description and that of the Carnifex, a large-bodied crocodilomorph that once roamed North America during the late Triassic period. Its name, Carnifex carolinensis, literally translates to Carolina Butcher. Estimates suggest that Carnifex would have been about 3 meters or 9.8 feet long and 1.5 meters or 4.9 feet tall, not too dissimilar to the 7-foot height estimation provided by Christopher Davis following his reported encounter with the cryptid. Across the globe, there have been numerous alleged sightings of prehistoric creatures, captivating the imagination of cryptozoology enthusiasts and stirring debate among experts. From the Loch Ness Monster in Scotland to the Mokele Mbembe in the Congo Basin of Central Africa, these purported encounters challenge our understanding of the natural world and raise questions about the possibility of ancient species still lurking in remote corners of the planet. While various theories have emerged to explain the sightings of this mysterious creature, one compelling possibility lies in the local Native American lore. By examining these stories and myths of the region's indigenous tribes, we may gain new insights into the origins of the Lizard Man legend. South Carolina has a rich Native American history, with several tribes historically residing in the region, such as the Catawba, Cherokee, and Yamasee. These tribes maintained a deep connection with the natural world and developed a rich tapestry of myths, legends, and spiritual beliefs that reflected their understanding of the environment. Among the various stories passed down through generations, some tribes in the region have tales of reptilian beings or shapeshifters. These creatures, often portrayed as possessing supernatural powers, could either aid or torment humans, depending on the context of the story. Though the descriptions of these beings may vary, their reptilian nature and connection to the natural world make them a tantalizing parallel to the Lizard Man sightings. 
the similarities between the lizard man and indigenous tales of reptilian beings suggest a possible cultural connection between the cryptid and the area's native history. This link could indicate that the lizard man sightings are somewhat of a modern reinterpretation of ancient stories, with people attributing their encounters with unknown creatures to the myths passed down through the generations. Today, the lizard man's impact extends beyond the realm of cryptozoology and into popular culture. In Bishopville, the town closest to the Skateboard Swamp, the lizard man's influence can be seen in the form of an annual lizard man festival. This event celebrates the legend and its impact on the community, featuring live music, local food vendors, and activities for all ages. Visitors can even participate in a Lizard Man 5K, a race that takes runners through the heart of the creature's purported territory. The Lizard Man continues to draw tourists to the area surrounding the Skateboard Swamp, with visitors hoping to catch a glimpse of the creature or learn more about its history. Today, the Lizard Man of South Carolina remains an enigmatic figure. Despite occasional sightings and the emergence of new photographs and videos, no definitive evidence has come to light that proves or disproves the creature's existence. So, as the sun dips below the horizon, casting eerie shadows across the dense, swampy terrain of South Carolina, whispers of the Lizard Man continue to haunt the minds of those who dare venture near the Skateboard Swamp. The mysterious creature with its ghastly green scales and sinister glowing red eyes remains an unsolved mystery, lurking in the darkest recesses of the state's folklore. As the line between myth and reality blurs, one is left to wonder if the Lizard Man is indeed a figment of the imagination, or a nightmarish entity that continues to stalk the swamplands, waiting to reveal itself once more to those who dare to tread too close. The story of the Lizard Man of South Carolina remains a chilling reminder that some mysteries may forever lurk just beyond the veil of understanding, hidden in the shadows of fear and the unknown.